What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, or if you're new to the channel, I'm Pokedubs, and today is a super exciting day as we've got Pokemon Scarlet and Violet 151. Now, as you guys know, I'm very, very excited for this set because I'm a big, big sucker for Generation 1, but this set is also going to introduce some awesome cards for the competitive scene as well. Some of the products from 151 have dropped this week while others will be coming later in October, but today we're going to be taking a look at the ETB, the Booster Bundle, the Binder Collection, and the Poster Collection. So I'm not going to waste any more of your time. Let's get into these things. All right, guys, here we go. We're going to start off with the poster collection. It's one of the smaller ones. In here, we've got three packs, uh, the three awesome promos, as you can see, and a poster, which I did unfortunately see a spoiler of on Twitter, but it is super awesome. So. We're gonna get into this thing. All right, so I just went ahead and took off all the plastic. We're just, we're not gonna waste any time with that stuff today. But here we've got this poster, which as I feel it, I think it is actually like pretty massive. So give me a second. That thing is super sick. Uh, it's very big. I'll take some additional video of it on the side and I will put it in here, but we're going to get into these things because I cannot contain my excitement for this set. I've been looking forward to 151 for quite a while now. Let's take a look at these beautiful promos. We've got the Charmander, first of all, it's a 70 HP Charmander, one retreat cost. Is this going to be the new optimal Charmander for the Charizard EX deck? guess we will find out. If I can get my hands on four of these bad boys, I might just throw them in the deck. Then we've got the cute Bulbasaur. Very, very cute. Love that. And none other than Squirtle. Love to see it. Like I've said a million times, I'm a huge sucker for the Kanto Pokemon. I do enjoy them quite a bit. So this is super sick. We'll stick the promos up here in the <laughs> the blinding light. That is atrocious, so I apologize. Here we go, guys. It's the first pack of 151. I'm so excited. Now, this is a completely new set, but since it is still Scarlet and Violet, I'm assuming it's just one card for the trick. Um, I haven't looked into the set a ton. I can't wait to be super surprised with all of these openings, but uh, I have a few cards I'm looking to get without further ado. Yo! Look at that! Are all the energies like this? Because that is insane. Look at all those swirls in there. That is absolutely gorgeous. These, that is incredible. Okay. So here we go into a coughing. Very cool. We're going to take a second to appreciate a lot of these arts because these are going to be amazing. We got Psyduck. Not a huge Psyduck fan myself, but uh, still love to see it. Ekans. Very cool. So this set will indeed include all original 151 Pokemon. This Cubone art is awesome. I absolutely love that. Very cool. So if you're able to get your hands on this set, what are you most excited for? Are you looking to get cards to play out of it, uh, to collect? Whatever the reason being, this set is going to be an absolute blast to open up. There is a Charmeleon looking as mean as ever. That is super sick. Going into Parasect. Seems like there are more cards in here. No, it's just 10 additional cards. It seems a lot thicker. Um, we'll see what that means. So we're going into a Reverse Foil Abra. Very cute. That's a Mitsuhiro Arita art. As I mentioned before, he's like one of the original artists for Pokemon. Very cool to see him coming in on a set like this, especially. Got a Reverse Foil Hitmonlee. Very cool. Let's see what we got in the back here. Boom, right into a beautiful Full Art Wigglytuff EX. That looks absolutely amazing. Holy smokes. I cannot even, I can't get the camera to show how awesome that looks. This is a beautiful card, absolutely beautiful. Super cool. First pack in, already got our first hit. Love to see it. So that is super sick. Uh, 
Yeah, it's gonna be hard to contain my excitement with uh, with this set. This is so awesome. So let's see. I'm really hoping these energies are all like that foil one. That is sick. Oh, darn, we just got lucky on the first pack. I thought it was probably too good to be true, but I will certainly take what I can get. Here we've got another coughing, another Psyduck, another Ekans, another Cubone. This is suspicious. Cedra, so Cedra's new. That looks sick. Very cool art. Kabuto, that one's new. This is so sweet. Just taking a walk down memory lane with all these Gen 1 Pokemon. Love to see it. Gloom, that is awesome. Very, very sweet. We got Doduo. Very neat looking art with the colorless reverse foil. That is pretty sick. Into Dragon Arrow. Holy smokes. All right, so we started with a full art. Now we're going into uh, an illustration rare, I believe. That is so sick. And then we got the Ditto. I do know for a fact that this one is going to be pretty good uh, playability-wise. I don't personally see it being like super insane, but I've seen some talk about it over on Twitter. Uh, it's got the transformative start. Once during your first turn, if this Pokemon is in your active spot, you may search your deck and choose a basic Pokemon you find there, except any Ditto. If you do, discard this Pokemon on all attached cards and put the chosen Pokemon in its place, then shuffle your deck. So, definitely some opportunities for some uh, some cheesy plays there, but uh, I'll be excited to see how this finds its way into the competitive scene. All right, going into the third pack of this poster collection, I ended up getting probably more 151 than I should have, but uh, I'm excited to open this one up with you guys. I think it's going to be an absolutely amazing set. We got a new one here, the Magic Harp. Oddish, love to see it, super cool. I did also see with the mini series uh, Path to the Peak that Pokemon put out, they are indeed going to be releasing an Oddish promo uh, to match the one in that little mini series. So that's very cool. We got Mankey. We got a, a very adorable Meowth. That one's awesome. Love to see it. Good old Meowth. Erica's Invitation. So this one is definitely interesting. Um, I think it's gonna see some play. It's it's a very unique effect. Your opponent reveals their hand and you put a basic Pokemon you find there onto your opponent's bench. If you put a Pokemon onto their bench in this way, switch in that Pokemon to the active spot. So this could be very interesting. Uh, you could almost like bench a Luminion so they don't get the use out of it and then bring it up and knock it out right away. Um, could be very interesting for plays like that. So we'll see how this one makes its way into the competitive scene as well. So I'm gonna put that in the uh, possible competitively viable pile. This Magneton is super cool. Yuka Mori, I believe, is the artist that was giving some clay art demonstrations um, while people were over in Japan for the World Championships, so that is very, very cool. We got good old Nidoqueen. Got a beautiful reverse holo Lapras. Love to see it. Lapras is pretty sweet. Got Reverse Hollow Bellsprout going into Charizard EX, baby. Let's go. The first Charizard of this set. That art is very sick. This Charizard is not super playable, uh, definitely not in comparison to the other Charizard, but this does introduce some interesting possibilities. Might be able to uh, throw this one in there as a little bit of fire typing whereas the other Charizard is a dark type. So it could be interesting. Uh, it's a pretty typical Charizard attack to load up a bunch of energy, then do a bunch of damage, but then discard like most of the energy. So I'll also be interested to see if this one makes its way into um, some decks. All right, so next we're gonna hop into the Binder collection, in which we just, it's pretty straightforward. We get four packs and one binder. So I'm gonna open this thing up. All right, so this is very sweet. It is one of the uh, good binders, in my opinion. It's got the very nice pages in it. I only use these types of pages anymore uh, for my cards, as I believe they protect them the best, and they're very easy on them, because it's got like that microfiber-ish kind of cloth material on the inside, so 
highly recommend. And it's also a plastic one with a strap on it. So that is a very, very cool binder. I already 10 out of 10 recommend picking one of these up uh, just for the binder alone, basically. Especially if you plan to master set this like I do, uh, this will be very cool. So super hyped about that. And then we've got the four packs of 151. So we're gonna get into these bad boys right away we got the one card trick into a grass energy and we got a meowth got execute very cool art got clefairy machop looking strong as ever we got onyx dragonair that is very cool i'm still super pumped that we got the illustration rare one cedra Got a reverse hollow dugong into a reverse hollow Nidorina of a dark type. That's very cool. And a Wigglytuff EX, guys. What the heck? It's almost like every single pack is going to have a hit, and I don't have a problem with that at all. That is so sick. This is an insane start, and we're not even, not even seven packs in. That's crazy. Seven packs in? What am I talking about? This is only the fifth pack. So, jump it into a Psychic Energy. Then we got the Antique Helix Fossil. Nothing super crazy going on here. It basically acts as a 60 HP basic colorless Pokemon. It can't be affected by special conditions, and it can't retreat. So it's it's effectively useless, uh, or a placeholder, I guess. At any time during your turn, you may discard this card from play. It's got the Helical Swell. As long as this Pokemon is in the active spot, your opponent can't play Stadium cards from their hand. Not super great. Um, we'll see what happens with that one, but a new Pokemon card, nonetheless, we got Slowpoke. Magmar, that is a very, like, vibrant art. I really, really like that. That is very sweet. We got a Horsey. That is a beautiful art as well. These are so good. Sandslash. Haunter, here we go. So I've said it before, Tomokazu Kamiya is... Not usually one of my uh, preferred art styles. There's usually a lot going on. Uh, but he did indeed do the entire Gengar line in this set, so still excited to get the whole line nonetheless. This is a very cool Haunter card. I love to see it. So this one will kick off my collection pile down here on the right. Into a Golduck. We got Nidoking. Very cool. And we got a basic energy gold with a flareon still to follow it up as the rare love to see it i'm always into the evolution so that'll go there but check this out guys unfortunately i made a lot of mistakes uh several sets ago when shadow rider v max was a deck uh, I obtained far too many secret rare psychic energies so but i can't complain i will always take another one that is super sick we got our first gold card of the set. So we got Lightning Energy into a Cubone. Got Vulpix. There's the Magnemite. So this is the one that the, the creators that got to go to Japan uh, and go to the class, I guess it was, by Yukimori. This is the exact Magnemite that they were uh, trying to recreate. So that's very cool to see this in person now. We got Caterpie. Nice. There's Snorlax. Love to see it. Actually, my my son is now obsessed with Snorlax. Uh, it's apparently his favorite Pokemon, so that is very cool. Love to see it. We got Sand Slash into a Nidorino, into a Reverse Abra. Very cool. A Reverse Grimer and a Dodrio. So this one's very interesting. I've seen some some mock-ups or maybe some lists from Japan of this being played in Lugia. Uh, so it's got the zooming draw. Once during your turn, you may put one damage counter on this Pokemon if you do draw a card, so that's actually pretty decent. And then it's got the Ballistic Beak 10 plus. This attack does 30 more damage for each damage counter on this Pokemon. So lots of crazy combos that I think could be pulled off with this. So we're gonna put this in the playable pile. All right, so last pack of the Binder Collection. This has been super sick so far. As we go into, yes, we got a sparkly metal energy or galaxy foil, whatever these are called. I don't care, I'm too hyped. This is so sick. So these, I think I was putting in all of my uh, my playable pile. Those are absolutely beautiful. I think that's gonna be my preferred energy type. 
to be completely honest. We got Grimer, Psyduck, Ekans, got that awesome Cubone, Doug Trio. Love to see it. There's a Tentacruel. That's the first time we've seen this one. Very neat. Hitmon Lee. I think that's also the first time we've seen this one. Going into a reverse Rhyhorn. That's a very cool art. Definitely like that. There's one of these. Wow. That is absolutely beautiful. The illustration rare Bulbasaur. I really, really do. Well, first of all, I mean, I want to master set this entire thing. But I can't wait to get the whole entire illustration set of the original three starters. I think this is going to be absolutely awesome. So I'm super stoked to add one of them to the collection. That is very cool. We've got another Dodrio for the rare. All right, so we're going to jump into the booster bundle next, which is six packs. All right, I'm wasting no time getting into these things, guys. As you can see, six packs. This can double as like a deck box if you want it to. Very cool. Love the Mew logo on there. But let's be honest, I'm here for these six packs. So let's get into these. We've got a really good start to the uh, illustration rares and such up top. All of the hits looking pretty good. We've got a Metal Energy going into Ponyta. So that's the first one of this Pokemon. That's very sick. There's Pikachu. There he is. There's another one for my ever-growing Pikachu binder, which is pretty huge. We got Farfetch'd. That is a very cool art. Definitely very neat. I, Farfetch'd is a very cool Pokemon. We got Antique Old Amber. With the Amber Protection, prevent all effects of your opponent's Pokemon's abilities done to this Pokemon. Nothing super crazy pops out to me immediately with this one, uh, but I hope to be proven wrong and this gets some use. We've got Leftovers at the end of your turn. If the Pokemon this card is attached to is in the active spot, heal 20 damage from it. Again, not super crazy. Uh, I could see some some cheeky plays with it, but nothing that screams super playable to me right off the bat. We've got the Persian. That is very cool. Going into a Muck. We've got the Reverse Hollow Pikachu. Sweet. So knocking both of them out in the one single pack. Love to see it. Got a Reverse Hollow Bell Sprout into a Mr. Mime. So this one's pretty interesting. It's got the Mimic Barrier. If this Pokemon and your opponent's active Pokemon have the same amount of energy attached, prevent all damage done to this Pokemon by attacks from your opponent's Pokemon. So very interesting. Uh, I'll be curious to see what kind of decks will utilize something like this. All right, going into the next pack. Pretty stoked to get the two Pikachus out of there. Again, I know very little about what illustration rares will be coming out of this set, so be excited to discover that along the way. Going into a Dratini, that's the first time we've seen this one. Growlithe, love to see it. I love Growlithe and Arcanine. That is very sick. That is, I think like every single Growlithe card is just absolutely adorable. So love to see it. This Geodude is very interesting. I'm a big fan of that art. That's That does the boy Geodude some justice. I wouldn't want to mess with that one. Going into Jigglypuff, that is an absolutely adorable art. Very cool. We got Polyrath, looks like he's hopping around in the city. That's super sick. We got Pidgeot, that is a beautiful art, love it. We got Ammonite, that art is actually super cool, I really really like the illustration of the underwater scene there, that is very sick. Going into a Reverse Haunter. Let's go. This is going to go right into the collection pile. So we've got all of the Haunter that we need out of this. Need the Ghastly and the Gengar, obviously, still. Going into a Reverse Nidorina. And lastly, we've got a Machamp. Going into the next one, let's see if we can get any more of those awesome illustration rares. Going into a Water Energy, we've got Pidgeotto, Magmar, Shelter, Bellsprout, Daisy's Help. Draw two cards, look at your face down prize cards. That That's actually pretty interesting. Um, I don't know if I had seen this one 
pop up on Twitter that drawing two cards is not like super beneficial. Drawing two cards is not like that powerful. Uh, but looking at your face down prize cards is definitely very interesting. I'll be curious to see if this gets any play. Um, this one strikes me as an interesting supporter right off the bat. So I'm going to put it in the potentially playable pile. We got Venomoth, Rapidash, the Reverse Hollow Magnemite. That is so cool. Love those clay arts. Got Reverse Hollow Lickitung into a Vile Plume. So this one also very interesting, but I don't think it's insanely powerful. It's got the fully blooming energy. When you play this Pokemon from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon during your turn, you may look at the top eight cards of your deck and attach any number of basic energy cards you find there to your Pokemon in any way you like. Shuffle the other cards back into your deck. So pretty cool effect of the ability, but I don't know that it'll see a whole lot of play, especially since it's a stage two Pokemon. It just seems like an awful lot of work um, to do that, but to potentially attach eight energy is kind of insane. So I'll also be curious to see how that one does as well as we got a psychic galaxy foil. These are absolutely beautiful. Holy, I already cannot wait to collect entire playable sets of every single energy type. You heard it here. I'm going after them. Those energies are absolutely incredible. We got Staryu. There's Charmander. That is a very cute art. Love to see the boy Charmander. We go into Spiro, Bellsprout, Taurus. Very cool. We got Kadabra, Slowbro as I'm spoiling cards again. Got the Reverse Hollow Primate looking mean as ever. Love to see it. Such a cool Pokemon. Going into a Reverse Hollow Tentacruel and a Flareon for the rare. All right, hopping into the last two packs of this booster bundle. So we've got a Darkness Energy, followed by Horsey. We got Nidoran, Abra, Diglett. Start moving a little bit faster through these. We got Nidorina. Raticate, that's a new one. That's pretty sick. That's a very cool art of Raticate. I actually really like that. We got Erica's Invitation. We'll see if that one gets any play. Reverse Hollow Magikarp. Reverse Hollow Venonat. Into another Dodrio. All right, last pack of the booster bundle. Then I might be able to squeeze in one or two of these ETBs. Like I said, I picked up multiples of some of these things, so... I'll see how long I want this video to go because I do want to keep your guys' attention and keep this as entertaining as possible. So we had Magikarp going into Oddish, Mankey, we got Meowth, there's an Ivysaur, that's the first time we've got good old Bulbasaur's first evolution. Love to see it. We got Machoke, that's actually a super cool art. Got Giga Chad Machoke up there punching the sky. <laughs> Love to see it. We got Dugong. Reverse Hollow Pidgeot. Into a Reverse Hollow Rapidash. And we've got Gyarados. This is sick. So this one has always been super interesting ever since I saw the translation of this. It's got the untamed one. When you play this Pokemon from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon during your turn, you must discard the top five cards of your deck. So right away, I'm not seeing anything super beneficial about that, but I know I'm missing something. There's there's gonna be some sort of really crazy play with this that I'm missing, and uh, I can't wait to see it. All right, so as far as new products go, we are going to jump into one of the regular ETBs. This has got the Snorlax on the front, and it does indeed come with a brand new Snorlax illustration promo. Very cool. These have nine packs in them. So this is the regular one. Um, I do have Pokemon Center ones coming, and you know what that means. It's going to be a giveaway time, so stay tuned for that. We'll check out the insides of this. We've got our nine packs. Super sick. We've got our sleeves. Cool design. You guys know what I think about these. We got a big old brick of energy. We've got the beautiful Snorlax promo. That is super cool. Love to see it. That is just a nice, that's a classic Snorlax art. 
very sweet. Then we've got our usual poison and burn markers, followed by damage counters, and this one's just a straight up see-through dice. And our four dividers, very cool ETB artwork to uh, store your cards in. So here we got nine packs out of the ETB. Let's get into these things and see what else we can get. As we've got a grass energy into Grimer. We got a cute little Weedle. That is awesome. We got a Zubat. So here's a couple firsts. Goldeen. That one's new as well. Love to see it. Victory Bell. Another new one. Big Air Balloon. The stage 2 Pokemon this card is attached to has no retreat cost. This could definitely be interesting. I'm definitely going to put this in the uh, potentially playable pile because I do see some potential in that one. We got Primate into a Reverse Kabutops. That is very sick. That is a super cool Kabutops art. Very, very awesome. That is that is really, really cool. As we go into a Reverse Hollow Voltorb, that is also a super sick one. I always thought Voltorb was really awesome when I was a kid. Uh, Burger King had a bunch of toys that came out. One of them was like a spinning top, and it was a Voltorb, and I absolutely loved that thing. And we go into a Mr. Mime as the rare. So we got another pack here. Uh, yeah, let me know in the comments if you guys plan to get any 151. If you've got any stuff coming out of this first batch, or if you're waiting on stuff like the Zapdos EX box, things like that. Uh, and if you're planning to open the set, what are you looking to get out of it? There's a, a lot of exciting avenues to take with this set, so I'm excited to see what people end up getting out of the set. We got Eevee, need that one for my collection. Erica's Invitation. We got the Magneton. Nitto Queen. Reverse Hollow Rhyhorn. The Seal just sleeping. Those are some serious end of the week vibes here. And then we go into a gorgeous Dragonite. That is absolutely awesome. Your Pokemon in play have no retreat costs. Very interesting. Again, a stage two Pokemon, so. Not insanely appealing, but it's it's very interesting nonetheless. And a super awesome art. I do collect Dragonite, so that'll go in my collection pile immediately. But yeah, 151 offers quite a bit for me. A couple playable cards I'm looking for. I want to complete the master set of this, as well as just enjoy all of the Generation 1 Pokemon that I love out of this. This Porygon is awesome. Almost got like a little Minecraft looking background. That is so sick. I definitely, definitely love that art. That is so cool. We got Polarath, Pidgeot, Ammonite into a Reverse Hollow Electabuzz. That's the first one of him. Into a Reverse Rapidash. And we've got a Kangaskhan EX. This one is nothing crazy, but a very cool art. So we will take it. So there's the first hit we've gotten in a few packs. But again, can't complain. I'm super excited for this set. I've been waiting for it for quite a while here. Um, and we've been starting off pretty strong. So here we got a Drowsy. There's a very cute Bulbasaur. Look at this guy. Again, mentioned it before, not my favorite Gen 1 starter, but I do adore him. How can you not love that adorable little guy. Very cool. As we've got a slow poke chilling in the water. Good old Growlithe, happy as can be. Raticate, not so happy as can be. Another Erica's Invitation. We got Magneton, the Reverse Hollow Snorlax, very cool. Into a Reverse Hollow Drowsy, and an Articuno. There we go. I do love the original Legendary Bird Trio, so this is very cool to see. I love it. It's got the Blizzard attack for 3 water energy. It does 110. This attack also does 10 damage to each of your opponent's bench Pokemon. So a decent attack. It's not terrible. Uh, could be paired with the Bax Caliber deck, uh, but we'll see. This is going in my collection nonetheless. Jump into another one here. Moving right along. I do have a lot of this to open up. I just don't know how long I want to make the initial video. Because like I said, I want to keep it interesting. We've got a Slowpoke, a Magmar, Horsey. We've got Parasect in there. Giovanni's Charisma. So I actually am a big fan of Giovanni. I think he's awesome. 
This one, put an energy attached to your opponent's active Pokemon into their hand. If you do, attach an energy card from your hand to your active Pokemon. So again, nothing super insane, but I could see I could see some interesting little plays with this. So we'll put it in the potentially playable pile. Uh, I'll be curious to see if that does see any play. We got Cloyster into a Reverse Hollow Raticate. Reverse Hollow Nidorina and a Vile Plume. But coming into the last four packs of this ETB, again, we'll see if uh, I decide to open up any more in this video. I do have, I accidentally ordered a second poster collection. So I've got another one of those. I have another ETB and another booster bundle. So we'll see which ones of those we end up opening up. Cycling Road is a new stadium. Once during each player's turn, that player may discard a basic energy card from their hand in order to draw a card. So definitely interesting. Uh, you're also giving your opponent the benefit of drawing a card. So we'll see how that one goes. We got Scyther. That is a very, very sick art. Definitely like Scyther. Got another Charmeleon. We've got a Reverse Hollow Persian. The Reverse Leftovers. Very interesting. And we've got a wheezing. So this has got an interesting ability that I always, I always think these ones are very interesting. Let's have a blast is what it's called, which I think is hilarious. If this Pokemon is in the active spot and is knocked out by damage from an attack from your opponent's Pokemon, flip a coin. If heads, the attacking Pokemon is also knocked out. So I think that is super cheesy and I'll be excited to see if that gets any play. I could see that wheezing being funny against like big attacker decks. Uh, it's kind of just sitting there like, yeah, go ahead and hit me, and then you'll get knocked out and take two prizes if I flip heads. That could be very funny. So we got Kakuna, Poliwag, Ponyta, Hitmonlee, Wartortle, that is the first one of him. Hopping around, skipping around on the beach in the sunset, love to see it. Into a Hypno, we got a Reverse Hollow Pidgey. Reverse Hollow Krabby, and an Arbok EX. Let's go. These are super sick. So I think these are now classified as like the new ultra rares or what well, I'll, I'll get a hang of it at some point, but I'll still call these full arts. I think this is absolutely beautiful. The, the new full art EX Pokemon look absolutely stunning. So even if they're not playable, I do try to collect at least one of each of these because they look so good. So we will take that as a hit as we run into the last two packs of this ETB, jumping into a, a Lightning Energy and a Paris, into a Voltorb, We've got Krabby, Sandshrew, Scyther, Charmeleon, Parasect, Reverse Hollow Kingler, Reverse Hollow Charmeleon, and a Mew EX. Let's go. This is one of the cards I was looking forward to. Uh, playability wise, it looks like coming out of Japan, there's like a one of of this in almost every single deck. It's got the restart ability. Once during your turn, you may draw cards until you have three in your hand. So very good for decks that do not like to draw a lot. Obviously, this is relying on not being shut down by Path to the Peak. Uh, but then it's got Genome Hacking as the attack for three colorless energy. Choose one of your opponent's active Pokemon's attacks and use it as this attack. So that is absolutely nuts. This will be very interesting. Um, I do believe this is going to be an inclusion in my Lugia deck. So that is super awesome. And at a worst, it is a free retreat pivot option. So very sick. Very excited to get this one. So while that is going to be massively playable, we will put it in the hits pile for now. Although you can't see that as we jump into the last pack of this ETB. See if we can get one more of those awesome energies. Hey, <laughs> we've got a fighting energy in the galaxy foil. That is so sick. Man, I, I absolutely love those. We got Pikachu, Farfetch'd, Antique Old Amber. We've got Pidgeotto, Poliwrath, Pidgeot, Omanyte, Reverse Ponida. Reverse Hollow Diglett, which I believe is the first of this one, into an Amistar as the rare. All right, so I decided to do it. We're going to go into this last booster bundle that I have. So we'll really cook through these packs. We got six out of here. We're cooking. We're going. Excited to open 151. I've got an awkward number of packs left where I don't really want to make another video out of it. Um, 
but I also don't want to keep you guys for super long. So we got Staryu, Charmander, Spiro, Bellsprout, War Turtle. We got Hypno, Polyrath, Horsey, Zapdos EX. Let's go. This is super sick. I'm absolutely hyped to get this card. This is so awesome. It is one of the chase cards that I had. I just completely forgot about it. I tried to erase my mind <laughs> of all the sweet arts uh, to be this excited. This is absolutely amazing. So again, huge fan of the Legendary Bird Trio, um, and Zapdos is my favorite of the three. So this is absolutely sick. I'm so glad I got this one. Followed by a Jinx EX. We got a big old double hitter, but this is an absolute win. Look at the art on that thing. I am, I'm ecstatic about this card. This is so sick. And I do also believe that the Zapdos EX is seeing some play uh, in Japan in the Maridon EX deck. So super hype. I actually have goosebumps. This art is so sick. I'm, I'm very happy. All right, so that was the first pack of this booster bundle. I don't know that it can get a whole lot better but uh, we're cooking through it. Let's get it. We've got Grass Energy, followed by Caterpie. We got an Eevee, Dome Fossil. We got Weedle, Rhydon, Executor. We got the Rigid Band. What does this do? The stage one Pokemon this card is attached to takes 30 less damage from attacks from your opponent's Pokemon. So that's interesting um, for stage one Pokemon. I'll be curious to see how that comes into play as well. We got Nidorino, Reverse Hollow Growlithe, and a Starmie. Jumping into the third pack of this, I can't get over that Zapdos. I totally forgot about that art, uh, so that is insanely hype. I'm very excited about that. We've got Magikarp, Oddish, Mankey, we got a Meowth, Pidgeot, Ammonite, a good old Taurus, Reverse Hollow Eevee into a Reverse Hollow Kadabra. And we've got an absolutely adorable Chansey. Look at this thing. So this ability is kind of nuts. Um, it's got the lucky bonus. If you took this Pokemon as a face down prize card during your turn and your bench isn't full, before you put it into your hand, you may put it onto your bench. If you put this Pokemon into your bench this way, flip a coin. If heads, take one more prize card. That's... That's very interesting. I will be curious again to see if this sees any play. Either way, that art is, <laughs> is absolutely adorable. We got pack number four. Boom, jumping into a beautiful water energy. Big old foil swirl up there. Good Lord, these are absolutely awesome. Those energies are so sick. We got Zubat. This set is just, ah, uh, I'm, I'm hyped. We got Goldeen. Weeping Bell. There's Ghastly. I was so hyped on the Zapdos that I almost forgot I still need a Ghastly and a Gengar. <laughs> but this is super sick. Uh, definitely love the Ghastly. I feel like while I absolutely am obsessed with Gengar, I think you guys all know that, the boy Ghastly doesn't get quite enough recognition, so love to see it. We got Graveler. That's a very cool art. Protective Goggles, the basic Pokemon this is attached to has no weakness. So that's very interesting. We'll see how that one goes. That could that could be a good card. There's Arcanine looking as beautiful as ever. The majestic legendary Pokemon. That is so sick. Every Arcanine card looks absolutely awesome. Got the Reverse Hollow Minecraft Porygon. Followed by Reverse Hollow Tangela. That's the first one of this Pokemon. Going into Nidoking. Last two packs of this booster bundle. Looking real good. We've got a Lightning Energy. Followed by Execute. Clefairy. Machop. We got Minecraft Porygon. Kadabra. We've got an Ivysaur in there. We've got Slowbro. That's the first of the Slowbro. Doug Trio. We've got a reverse Metapod. That's the first Metapod we've gotten. 
and we've got Vaporeon. There we go. There's another evolution. Love to see it. Always happy to add more evolutions to my collection. As we've got the last pack of the booster bundle. Flipping it over, we've got just a regular old metal energy. That's okay. We got Paris, Boltorb, Krabby. We got good old Sandshrew. That's the first one. Tentacruel. That almost looks like it should be a foil. That's very cool looking art. Good old Snorlax. We got Sand Slash, Reverse Hollow Nidoqueen, a Grimer, and we've got Machamp. All right, guys, one more. I'm just going to wrap it up with this last poster collection I have. It's just three packs, so let's get into it. All right, so open that up. I just put the promos and the poster aside because you guys have seen that. Let's be honest, at this point, we're here for the packs. We're going to do another fighting energy with the galaxy foil. Very cool. We got Bulbasaur, Dratini, got a Growlithe, good old Geodude, Golduck. There's the first Golduck we've seen. First Pinsir, that is very cool. Pinsir, random fun fact, is the first perfect Pokemon I got in Pokemon Go. Uh, I don't know why you needed to know that, but you know it now. We've got Bill's Transfer. Look at the top eight cards of your deck. You may reveal any number of Pokemon you find there and put them into your hand. Shuffle the other cards back into your deck. Another one that's not like super insane, but I, I could definitely see it getting some play. Seems like a, a Lugia type supporter, so we'll see how that goes. We've got Muck. Rattata, that's the first one of this Pokemon. Into the Zapdos EX, let's go. We've got both Zapdos we need. I absolutely love Zapdos. Zapdos is super sick. Uh, I'm pretty sure that the Legendary Bird Trio are going to be my next Pokemon tattoo, uh, but we'll see. That's neither here nor there. We've got Zapdos EX in the house. All right, last two packs. This has been super sick. We'll see if I end up squeaking in the other ETB into this opening. We've got Horsey, Abra, Diglett. We've got Drowsy, Snorlax, Sandslash. There's another Haunter. That's super sick. We've got Primate, Diglett, and an Amistar. We've got the very last pack of this poster collection. See if we can get one more of those energies. Ah, uh, we just got a regular fire. That is all right. We've got Lickitung, Venonat, Pidgey. We've got a Poliwhirl, Golbat, Leftovers. We've got a Persian, a Reverse Hollow Magikarp, a Reverse Hollow Beedrill, and there. <laughs> all right. Looks like I have to end it here. I'll work in the ETB into a different video. Gotta end it on my boy Gengar. Look at him. I don't know if he's dancing. He's leaning into something. He's just feeling the vibes. I, I'm not sure, but he's having a good time. And I'm here for it. Super hyped to end this one on my boy Gengar. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today's Pokemon Scarlet and Violet 151 opening. Out of this initial wave, I do have one more ETB, but I also have more stuff coming later on with like the Zapdos EX box and the Ultra Premium Collections. I also have the Pokemon Center exclusive Elite Trainer boxes coming in at the end of this week. So definitely be sure to stay tuned as we will do a giveaway for those like usual. So super hyped to get into this set, guys. Thank you for hanging out. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, hop down there, click that button. I promise you won't regret it. We've got a bunch more Pokemon content to come up more 151 to open up. We've got another regional vlog coming up as well with Peoria. All sorts of very fun stuff. So thanks for hanging out, guys. Until the next one, keep being awesome, and we'll see you then. Peace.